Hey guys, this is Jonathan Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs looking at the MLB lineups page and I wanted to create a quick video um, mainly because I got a, a new mic or a mic and so uh, these videos I think won't continue to sound like complete shit with the, uh, fa the fan blowing in the background and, uh, and the most obnoxious noise you've ever heard every time I, uh, I click the mouse. So hopefully these will sound a bit better moving forward. Second reason, uh, I wanted to introduce this team value rating that I created. Um, it's a zero to 100 metric. That's really just, um, created. It's a, it's a simple rating of how much value a, um, an offense offers. And it considers two things. One is the Vegas implied run total. Second is the, um, the salaries of the players who are in the batting order. Um, and so because of those two things, which both can change throughout the day, um, the team value rating you'll see will change. So for example, um, we have a uh, change in the implied run total here for the Astros. They've dropped 0.4 runs since the line um, was offered, uh, which is a pretty significant total. They've also gotten 71% of money line bets. So that suggests that maybe sharp money's on the Yankees. But as that um, line drops, you'll see so will the team value rating. Um, but the idea is just to get a sense of um, how much upside uh, an offense has uh, via Vegas, which is really valuable for MLB, um, relative to how much they cost. And I think people a lot of times look at this number, the um, Vegas implied run total, um, and it's almost become uh, to the point where people say, okay, who are the top projected offenses in Vegas? I'm going to stack those um, without looking at cost. And, and on an individual level, we do it a lot. We look at cost relative to expected production. When stacking, it seems like it almost goes out the window, but it shouldn't. Um, if a team that's projected at 4.1 runs is significantly cheaper than one projected at 4.2, um, of course, all other things being, e being equal ownership and everything, we want the, the cheaper one. We're just giving up um, one-tenth of, of an implied run. So... Um, the other thing is that it doesn't include uh, pitcher salaries, obviously, and um, if a guy gets called up or there's just not a salary for him on DraftKings or FanDuel, um, then we don't consider him. But it's 0 to 100. It's based on uh, historical value of teams, um, and it's that Vegas implied run total um, and uh, a comparison with the overall cost of an, off of an offense. It's not an end-all, be-all stat. Um, we're not just going to automatically fade an offense uh, because it has a, a low rating or target one because it's high. Um, you need to consider other things, ownership and, and, and the ceiling and, and range of outcomes of a particular offense and things like that. But I do think just understanding team value and stack value and really considering how salaries compare to an offense's upside is um, potentially underutilized and, and overlooked by most players.